Friday Stuff Dreams Are Made of fans, we're here at Prop Store Headquarters with Prop Store co-head honcho, is that your title? I think that works. Yeah. Co-head honcho, Brandon Allinger, uh, and we are here for the big EMLA, Enter Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction. We wanted something that would be easy to pronounce. Yes, so. the EMLA, the, the newest EMLA, EMLA, Entertainment Memorabilia Live Auction, uh, August 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th. That's right. Day one live at the Peterson Museum. You can go there live bid. Otherwise, online bidding or phone bidding, go to propstore.com, download a catalog, check out all the listings, everything. Uh, we're going to start with Harry Potter because you have a really nice selection of Harry Potter. We've got all these wands, very cool. A couple of differences. We've got a couple of light up wands, which were used in the later films. A couple of earlier wands here. So this is, we've got a Harry, a Hermione, McGonagall, and this is from, I think, the first movie. This is an early one, um, which is kind of cool when they were made of wood. The turned wood, yeah. The turned wood, which is really pretty. Elder Wand, uh, Snape, Ron. And these are the later ones. This is the Hermione. And this is pretty nice, and I'm going to do this very gently. This is one of the light-up wands, which I think were introduced... On the third movie? That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. the Quaron movie, Prisoner of Azkaban. And this is pretty excellent. I've not actually owned one of these. Uh, I do really like the, the look of this. I feel Tell like it me. really stands out compared yeah. to the other ones. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the light up is the special. The, you know there's so much more build work going on in that. It's just a lot more interesting. And there's just, we have to ask this question, right? Which is, we see wands. There's a lot of wands. These have a nice little pedigree. We can't specifically say where, but tell us a little story here. Well, a large yeah. <laughs> number of these have come from a single consigner, and he owned them for about 15 years, and they do trace back directly to an industry crew source. Yeah. Uh, so we felt really good about the history with this set, felt really good about the details as we did the physical examination of them. Obviously, the, um, the light-up ones, as we say, just a much more intricate yeah. build. Um, it's not like just a resin pull out of a mold. There's a lot going on No, here. there's a lot going on here, and I think certainly in the world of, how does one say this, uh, dupes, I feel like you might occasionally see the non-light-ups where you might go, well, what's the history? And again, do your research, ask your questions. Where is it coming from? But with these, this is a studio build, which is a really nice thing. Like I said, this is the Hermione. This is a Harry which is also very cool and also a light up. I'm gonna go very gently with that, which is just really neat. And the other thing that's really cool about the Harry, and I'm gonna show you this. You wanna put that in, mm -hmm. back in. We got real magic action, which I kinda like. Check this out. Uh, Expecto co-hostess. Ryan. Welcome to the hottest spot in Valencia, where it is 400 degrees in this <laughs> really warehouse. Really, truly. Yeah. I'm sweating, and I'm wearing white gloves, and I'm just dripping with sweat. But Look, welcome. We're sharing a frame. There's crossover. This is real. This is not CGI, although obviously we spent a lot of money on that effect. Uh, <laughs> we've got incredible Harry Potter props. Check this wand out. Thank oh, my you. God. Oh, you're not wearing a I white can't glove. can't do it. Here. <laughs> I'll get you some gloves. <laughs> Expecto <laughs> Glovis. Just put them on in slow mo, just slow as you humanly can. That's what people want to see. While he's putting the gloves on, I am going to point out that in a lot of the videos, uh, I've really enjoyed, especially the Star Trek fans, bitching about A, how we're touching the props. Well, guess what I do when I'm at home? I touch my props. Uh, and also, everybody with, oh, he's waving his arms. It's called being a Jew, okay? That's how I talk. Guess what? I've been doing this for 53 years. I've only broken like 37 <laughs> props, so it's fine that I do this, okay? You see that audience? Woo! Jewish guy moving his arms. Anyway. Pretty great. This is the invitation to Hogwarts. What you're looking for on these invites, there's two versions. There's yeah. a printed version because they needed them all to fly around. Uh, and those do not have this wax seal. The wax seal. And then obviously the wax seal, which obviously yeah. is uh, the recommended version. Yeah. Pretty cool. And I guess this is, I guess this is a copy of what is inside, which I actually, I have a sealed one and oh, I've never had any touch. idea yeah. that this was what is inside, which is kind of cool. That it, the list of what you need to bring, your books and whatever. So that's kind of pretty neat. Does that help or hurt when I do that? That hurts. <laughs> Stop it, Dave. Uh, pretty, pretty fantastic. How was your trip in from uh, 
<laughs> well, I was sitting at my desk in London, and suddenly I've appeared here. My children are certainly frightened. Uh, thank you, Dave. They love the Harry Potter movies, though, so <laughs> they, that is they good. Do. They'll be very glad and to hear. And it's a pretty amazing collection of Harry Potter stuff, and no Harry Potter collection is complete without the Ace Rothstein sunglasses from Casino. Uh, my favorite wizard. That's a good look. You got kind of a... I know it's Ace, Ace Rothstein, but yeah. you're getting kind of a Brad Pitt Fight Club look. Yeah, good. Because yeah. I'm going to yeah. vomit because the lenses are real on <laughs> <in> these. <laughs> when we and flew to Dallas, spinning. we went to Dallas for the, the Heritage Auction. Uh, it was like 110 degrees, but I do want to point out how cool it was inside. And outside here, it's like 90 degrees, but in here, it's like 140 degrees. <laughs> it's like we're in an oven, a prop oven, which sounds delicious, but wow. Um, That's tasty. Uh, check this all out. Check out the rest of our videos. Me and Ryan together, finally. Uh, check out all the Prop Store videos, August 15th through 18th. Live bidding at uh, the Peterson Peter Museum. Museum. Are you going to be there? I'm going to be there. I might be there, but he'll be there. Maybe we'll both be there. And then bidding the next three days, 16th, 17th, and 18th, uh, online, PropStore.com, or you can arrange phone bidding. Subscribe to our YouTube videos and check out the rest of our Prop Store preview.